of the following what should we do? Make sure he is okay. Check all of your doors and windows to ensure they are locked. Call for help. Run. Run, 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 run. How's it going? I'm not sure what that previous bit was. I'm I'm fine. Okay, okay. don't don't worry. <laughs> there's no need to there's no need to to worry. Okay, it's it's fine. Okay, don't worry. It's fine. Today we're gonna be playing a game called. Well, we're gonna be playing more than just one game, but we're gonna play a couple of a few games. And uh, the theme is that sort of analog horror that you guys know I love. <laughs> you know I just love that that style. Um, or if you don't, now you do. So this is called Home Invasion. Is the first game we're gonna be playing. Oh my gosh! Take a little. Don't do that. Don't do that. Turn on my volume a little bit. That bass? Brr. Brr. I don't know what this is, but you know. Do I have to click something? It's not letting me do anything, so. Okay. Oh my gosh. We're off to a good start, guys. Black Curbs since 1983. Welcome to Black Curbs. Many people keep their gun at home for self defense. Six in ten people has gun ownership in Winchester. If you decide to keep a gun at home, be sure the gun is stored safely and that all family members know the rules about handling guns. I feel like this is like smooth jazz, but first, let's test your shooting ability. Does that mean I gotta like actually do something? Okay. Oh, shoot. <laughs> this is... This is literally Aim Trainer. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Congratulations, you did it. You're very good at this. Now, here's your prize. What's my prize gonna be? Do I get to keep the gun I used? Is that... Nope. Shoot him. But why? Why would I do that? Oh, I can click on the, the text here. I'm not going to click on it. Because I I don't believe in... I don't believe in murder, so... Alright, fine. We'll just... We'll do it. That's fine. That's fine. 
Where is she? Can't save her. Goodness. You killed her. I did not do that, by the way. I, was, I didn't choose to do anything. Civil authorities issued a child abduction emergency on 11-5-2002. She is 2 feet 0 inches and weighs 20 pounds. The abduction happened near Rocky Street. The suspect was driving a gray car. If you have any information regarding the suspect this was situation, driving please call the police. Driving a gray car. We have any information? We gotta call the police. I could barely understand what he was saying. Follow these instructions. Oh my gosh. Lock all doors and windows. Okay. Dang. Hello? What if it's my DoorDash delivery, though? She's here. Okay. Uh. Oh, what the heck? <gasps> no shot. No shot. What am I looking at here? I'm scared. I am spooked. This this went from zero to a hundred very fast. Yeah, that's me. I'm very scared. Why are you hiding behind under your blanket? I'm I'm not, but I'm scared of you, Daddy. Oof! Yikes! 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 Okay, I'm really scared about what, what's about to happen. I hear folks. Oh, yep, that was too, that was too cheap. Oh, I got chills all over my body. That was cheap. That was very cheap. That was like the dollar store level affordability. I'm like, oh, damn, that was, that was tough. Okay, all right, let's move on to the next section here. Winchester Archives. This is a drink break. One drink break later. Is anything going to happen? Is that the idea here? Dang. 2002 Bradford Psychological Association. Welcome to Psychological Stress Test. I want to welcome you to your first session. All right. This test will give you some ideas about how much stress you deal with in your life. For each item, indicate how much you agree or disagree with the statement. This takes most people about five minutes to complete. All Take right. your time and answer truthfully for the most accurate results. All right. You can now pick up your remote. Okay. Do you frequently have difficulty making decisions? Not really. No, I, I'm pretty, pretty uh, good at making decisions. Do you frequently avoid people whose ideas are different from your own? No, like not even a little bit. I like, I like to branch out and to sort of get inspiration from other people. Do I act rude? No, I don't. I, I'm, I like to think I'm a pretty nice person. Complain to myself. Oh, absolutely. I complain to myself all the time. Keep everything inside. Is he talking about like my feelings? No. No, I talk about my feelings. I journal. You know? Lie to anyone. I mean, everybody occasionally lies. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. Who would I be to? Oh. No, nope, I would never do that. Never, especially not frequently. Nope, I wouldn't do that either. 
uh, yeah, I don't know. Ooh. Oh. How did... How did I actually... Bro... Here's why Analog Horror gets me, is because I'm, I'm weak, okay? I'm like a little... How did that actually spook me? Like, I don't fake getting scared for, for my channel. I, I just don't do that. It would be more entertaining for me to just be able to play the game without getting scared than for me to fake. Like, I, I don't act. I'm not an actor. That... Dude... My eyes are watering a little bit. Which, of course, you know, every time. I like these little intermissions a little bit, you know? That's that's cool, I guess. I'm nervous as to what will suddenly happen. So, so yeah, that's, that's in the back of my mind. How are you guys doing? All right, well, now I know you're not doing so good. That was 4.23.02. So, April 23rd. Oh, sheesh. Yo! Okay. So, I'm, I think I'm a police officer, right? I, it looked like a police car, but anyways. This, this is spooky. Alright, this is spooky. Dude, this... This movement is kind of horrible. Okay. Okay. We're just going to walk along here. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. And just do a quick little... Okay. Pan the area. Yep. I'm expecting something big to happen. The... Flashlight control is kind of horrible. I don't know if it's just a, a me issue. I think it's a me issue. Anyways. Um, yeah, so what are we doing out here in the woods? That's what I want to know. Sure. Sure, it's nothing bad, right? It's probably fine. Oh, I'm, I'm getting tense. It's okay. Looks like a whole lot of the same sort of stuff. Now we're going to go up. I will never be able to find where my car was parked. Not that that's going to matter because, you know, I'm totally going to survive and everything. All right. Yep. Just keep on keeping on. Go this way. Mm, can't go that way, apparently. I guess we're going this way. Yep, perfect. Am I missing something here? <gasps> nope. No, I, I'm not missing anything. Nope. Uh, that kind of looks like a mustache. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not too sure about this. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Answer it. Answer it. 911, what is your emergency? There's someone in the back. There's someone in the back. My granddaughter has gone missing. The address is redacted. There's somebody in the back. It's getting more pronounced. Where, when did you last see her? I see her right here. She's right here. Last time she was lying down on her bed. Okay, I just need you to stay put. Help is on the way. Can I have your name? Amanda Green. Please hurry. Help us on the way, ma'am. Wait, I think my back door is opened. What do you mean? The Oh, shoot. I freaking clicked on it. My son is not home yet. Is there someone in your backyard? I think someone's watching me. Dude, I accidentally clicked too soon. Uh-oh. Don't get me with one of those cheap. Mom? 
The remaining footage is corrupted. All right. This game is really interesting. I like that bass. Yeah, this game is... This is an interesting one for sure. I, uh... I presume the dad killed the daughter, but then why was it the grandma looking for the daughter? Did he kill his wife too or something? Um, or did she live there with him or something? I guess that's normal too. I couldn't even begin to explain any of what's supposed to be happening or not supposed to be happening. Obviously, people going missing and stuff is not supposed to happen. Um, but I, uh, I don't like how big this pause is. My gosh. Video evidence case 1333. An investigator was assigned to the child abduction investigation. A police officer, John Remington, was sent to the house related to, oh my gosh, I knew I wasn't going to be able to read that in time. There's a picture of the house. There's a single car in the front yard. All right. There's no response inside the house. The victim was last seen in the basement. No. No. There's something in the basement. O of 99, or zero out of 99. <gasps> no. Oh no. thank you no thank you what is that what is that why are we in the unfinished basement that time it didn't work there's someone there there's somebody there there's somebody there there's someone there they're always right there oh my error the media playback was aborted due to restarted i guess ready flashing no, nope, John Remington is dead. He's right there. Okay. That was really, really, really well done. That was, it was, it was a little, it was a little on the cheesy side, that first jump scare, which I think was intentional, because then the, the future, like, my expectations dropped created by darkos you outdid yourself you've outdone yourself here i i want to see more like this um i like how it's like that four by three format as well i um i like that quite a bit yeah i think this is a powerful powerful game with it's a very simple idea like Analog horror doesn't have to be super complicated to be good. Are you kidding me? A problem has been detected with Windows OS and it's going to shut down and prevent damage to your computer. If you've seen this error, please restart your computer. The screen appears. Follow the steps. You do not exist. I mean, I, I know I do, but thanks. Thanks, game. Thank you. Oh, so I'm actually... Is the game not over? Dark OS going dark. Yes. Christmas safety. Is the game not over? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This must be a trailer for the next. Yep. Part two. Fate to be continued. Dang. Okay, that was cool. Here I am yapping about how much I like the game, and it wasn't even over yet. So, that's cool. All right, that's a cool, cool game. Um, yeah, so like I was saying, Analog Core doesn't have to be complicated to be good. It just doesn't. You can make pretty simple Analog Core and make it good. They all share very similar themes. It's like, oh, stay inside. Lock all your doors. You know, don't 
don't listen to the voices. Don't look at him in his eyes. But I love how, like, it just feels a certain type of way. It does more than the jump scares, and it, it sort of taps into, like, this, it's almost like Uncanny Valley type fear that, oh, well, normal things that shouldn't happen are happening, which is true for, like, most horror, of course. But then it just has this, like, it's just a vibe that analog horror gives. It has that sort of, like, instructional video. Like, if somebody sent you a real VHS tape, most people aren't even going to have the equipment to play it. But let's say you did. Or let's just say they sent you a regular video, okay? And it was an instructional video on how to, like, do something in real life. That'd already be weird. Imagine it was sent from, like, a state official or, like, the police or something. That's, I just, I love that about analog horror. So, anyways, on to the next game. So this game is called Indistinguishable. Um, I don't know exactly what this is about, but it looks pretty cool. Anna, you're one of a kind, Echo. Thanks, you are too. I still wonder how I managed to find someone so brilliant. Takes one to know one. I take it you enjoyed date night? It was wonderful. As the moon... As is the moon tonight, judging by your staring. You ever wonder how weird it is that we always see the same side of the moon? Not really. Tidal locking is pretty normal for moons and their planets. But it's been here for the entirety of humanity for millions of years of history it only showed us half of itself that is an interesting thought embedded in so much culture and history and we hardly knew it we only saw what it wanted us to see where is poetry echo every other day i want more of this what poetry echo is not becoming a thing i am not a poet too late it's official now that you've said it it's a thing shall we of course i'll get the gate this game does not have a safe zone. this is cool sheesh Use you to interact and F to toggle the flashlight. Okay, and this is my girlfriend or wife, Anna. This is cool. Do you hear that beeping? Let me check the backyard. Some sounds are too quiet to hear normally. Hold Q to listen carefully. You can't move when doing so. I don't hear any beeping. Someone's in the shed. Someone is definitely... What the heck is that? A life-size statue and a sculpted of me like looking into a mirror okay so why the freak would i have that in my backyard of all places and why is there somebody in my shed there's somebody in there is that like the neighbor's house or something what the freak is this can i talk to anna about it i can't talk to anna Someone's in there, still. But I guess what we'll do is we'll just go to the backyard anyways. It's coming from inside the house.
Yeah, it's coming from inside the house. We have a bunker? The basement, still locked, like it has been for years. Okay. I wish I could remember this stupid passcode. I never wrote it down for security reasons. Some good that that did me. I'll remember one day. So you're telling me you can't get into your own basement? That seems pretty weird. I need to quit doing that. That was really scary. Alright, well, Anna's not dead, so that's good. What's up? The beeping isn't coming from the backyard. It must be something inside. That's my suspicion, too. Let's head in. So there's someone in that shed. You headed in with me? Close that door. Can I lock it, too? Nope. Okay. My laptop. My laptop. Okay, well, it's not gonna let me do anything with it, apparently. This game is really interesting. Like, the way it looks is so different. It's like a drawing or something. It's kinda cool. Some, like, painting stuff. I, I like and hate this art style, because this is very scary. The freak are you just standing in here for? Scare the crap out of me. Dang, girl. Yeah, actually, like, why are you just standing here, my guy? Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. I think we're supposed to be listening for the sound. That's right. My trusty screwdriver... Why the freak is your trusty screwdriver right there? The quote written on the frame reads, No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. Oh, that's just a statue. Okay, okay. That's something weird. And I found it. It's the washing machine. The service light is blinking. Are we stable to use it? We might have to call somebody. Not sure. I'll try calling. But you know how hard it is to get someone to drive all the way out here. Did you turn it on before we left? No. Weird. So, I guess I'm supposed to call somebody? Someone's out in the shed, I'm telling you. That's all I'm saying, dog. What are you up to? Nothing. You're not helping. You weren't helping look for it. You are standing there doing nothing. My laptop. Okay, how do I call someone then if I can't? Because that's not a phone next to that. What if I just listen for a second here? Nope. Okay. We're good, I guess. You got a phone in here I can borrow? Anna? My gosh, this is a creepy atmosphere. How the freak do I call? I can sort it out later this week. All right, good night. Good night. Oh, that was it? Okay, because I just got into bed and go to bed then and just go to sleep. Sounds like something you shouldn't have sorted out in the morning. So, why the freak do you have a bunker in your ba ba backyard and you can't even get into it? Morning. Morning. How'd you sleep? Not too good. Did you hear noises last night? Like, TV static? I didn't hear anything. Speaking of TV static, have you heard of analog horror? Oh, of course! Okay, sorry. I think so. Like, the one with the alternates? Hey, shout out Alex. You know what? Hang on a second. You hang on just a, just hang on a second. I got him. All right. I got my boy. This is Mark. Wait a second. I got to put my headphones on. This is Mark. Dude, check this guy out. Focus, camera. Sheesh. Yeah, look at this dude. 
He's awesome. This is Mark from the uh, from the Mandela catalog. He's gonna, he can chill on my bed. He can just chill, just chill right there. Like the one with the alternates. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. The Mandela, Co dude, that's crazy. What did you think? It's creepy, isn't it? I didn't find it creepy. It's not real. Okay, sure, but if it was real, it would be creepy. The the statue's gonna be gone. I am a man of science. Oh my. I am a man of science, Adam. It's fiction. Those things can't possibly exist. <laughs> Sorry. I rubbed the sleep from my eyes. Maybe I could wear my headphones to sleep to block out the noises. Actually, now that I think about my headphones, I haven't seen them in a while. Weird. I usually leave them on my bedside table. Hey, have you seen my headphones? No, you've been misplacing a lot of things lately. You okay? I'm fine. Did you see a doctor about those memory problem you've been having? No, I think I'm just tired. Okay. This game somehow manages to be equally as scary in the daytime as it is in the nighttime. Like, like what are we doing here? That was loud as freak. I gotta turn my sound down or I'm gonna, like, die. Okay. So... I wanna know what the freak's going on with that shed still, but... We're trying to find my headphones, so I guess we'll do that. It's... How could you misplace anything in this freaking house, my guy? There's literally no place for anything to go. Can you check her bedside table? I got on the wrong side, I guess. This was my side. Some, like, boxes in here. My trusty screwdriver. But it won't let me do this stuff. Oh my gosh, that's never gonna... That's never gonna cease to freaking spook me, alright? Can't interact with that. Can I take a shower? Guess not. Oh! Press escape to close overlays when you're done reading text. Oh, this is what I look like in the mirror. Bro. This game references the Mandela catalog, which is really, really cool. I'm going to listen in for a second here. Just the beeping. Okay. Can I eat something? Can I wash my face? Can I do anything? Can I talk to you? What am I supposed to be doing here, game? My laptop? Guess not. Can I water the plant? Alright, let's go check outside or something. I'm off to work. And you won't overwork yourself now, will you? Nope. I'm so glad you've been giving our relationship priority this past year. I know, it was hard for you. I've warmed up to it. To be honest, it's nice to cut back on work. I like the balance. I could get used to this. All right. So what do we do for work? That's, I guess, we'll, we'll get to see. Or I guess we won't get to see. Okay. Honey, I'm home. Here's my car. Based. Based car. All right, cool. Time to go home. What up, my dude? Nothing. All right. Very talkative. Okay. Entering the lonely house with my wife. One. Two. I saw him for the first time. Three. Peering... I don't know what that even... I don't even know what that word is. Peering from behind a bush... Four, blackness that moved. Five, a shape amid the shadows. Six, a momentary glimpse of gleaming eyes. Seven, revealed in the ragged moon. Was that a haiku? Dude! That's it?
Okay, well, we seem safe. It seems safe. It seems fine. Let's just go on in. Uh, lost your key? I've got mine if you can't find yours. I can't remember if I took it with me. Better check inside. Here. That's not good. This guy's gonna die because he keeps leaving his stuff at home. Why did this just cut again? Eight. A closer look. He seemed to turn. Might have. Put him on flight forever. I dared not, for reasons that I failed to understand, though I wish I should get an... should... Let me just try and read, okay. Though I knew I should act at once. I didn't see anything! The statue's still there. Okay, she's ready to go to bed. But I think I'm supposed to go outside. Check the backyard. My screwdriver's there. My keys were missing. So I was supposed to look for the keys. We also... Oh my gosh, every time. I never called about this. Is that like breathing? Yeah, something, something's not right here. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to shut the door. And can I look at my laptop? Nope. All right, I guess I'm just going to go to bed. Yeah, no harm, no foul. Why are you on my side of the bed? Did you find your key? Not yet. It'll show up somewhere. Good night. Night. Dumb idea, dumb idea, dumb, dumb, stupid, stinky idea. Didn't find my headphones, didn't find my house key, now I'm looking at myself, I guess. Hey, I'm back. Tuesday, 8.23 p.m. I didn't get to go through the day. Hi, how was work? Anna works at a local cafe. Judging by how her art is doing, she won't have to work there much longer. Well, that's good. Same old. You didn't go to work today, though. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just didn't feel 100%. What happened yesterday night was a trick of the light. That's all it was. It doesn't even deserve to be thought about. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Actually, just one thing. Did you accidentally take my phone with you? She checks her back. No. Want me to ring it? That'd be great. Thanks. It's on silent, but I should be able to make out the haptics. So I'm gonna have to like... I'm pretty worried. Behind the painting? Was it there? A message from Jacob. It was there the whole time? Are you kidding me? Yo, Echo, you doing okay, bro? Echo is such a weird name. Yeah, why? I don't know. Yesterday you were insisting not to text, but I thought it. I thought I'd just check anyways. What? Yesterday? Yeah. When me and Luke drove by, you were crawling in the bushes. And when we talked, you seemed a bit on edge. At least I think it was you, because it was dark and I was drunk off my face, Lamau. Wait, Jacob, what the heck? Were you drunk driving? Nah, Luke was driving. Was Luke drunk? Anyways, have you thought about what I said? Don't, don't drive and drink, please. Don't drink and drive. What? You said? Are you sure it was me you were talking to? I don't remember this. I wasn't even home most of the day. I mean... It's all hazy, but it seemed like you. We talked for a bit. You said something like philosophical and stuff about like last Thursday, I think. I wasn't really paying attention, lol. You kept insisting on that you were okay and I should not text you, but I was just checking because, you know, I'm a real one. I appreciate the sentiment, but like, why did you drive all the way out here drunk in the first place? Were you asking for money again? Minutes pass. 
I don't get a response. So somebody was in the bushes. That's that's what I'm gonna take from that. Also, someone was drinking and driving, which is bad, but like not the end of the world. Can I talk to you yet? Is that no close that? Stupid. Oh, I look at my laptop sitting open on the desk. Folders are littered across the desktop screen. The remnants of the unorganized state of mind I used to be in. So did you find your house key? Hmm? Oh, no, I'm still looking. She nods absently and looks around as if the cure to the awkward silence is an object in this room. She stops at my laptop. That's a nice background. This? Yeah, I found it online. Oh. What's wrong? See these artifacts here? It's all made by AI. You say that like it's a bad thing. Well, it's just not a great thing. What do you mean? It looks cool. Yeah, but probably because it derives from lots of human artists, all their hard work yoinked without credit. Is it me or does that smudge look reminiscent of a signature? It, I'll change it. Yeah, but one day you might not be even be able to tell AI apart from human art, and if you can't tell the difference, is there even one? I'm gonna change it. No. AI is, yeah, AI is not a good thing in the ways that we are implementing it. I think it's a bad thing. Thanks. You can always ask me to make some digital art if you like. My laptop. Okay. So we're clearly, that wasn't good. The only thing that told us that she was an artist was this easel that's blank. We still never called anybody about the freaking washer over here. But, anyways, I guess it's time for bed. I guess it's not time for bed? Okay. okay. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Some time later. Or anything. Oh. Okay. Guess it fixed itself. I stand in silence listening to the trees and the wind. It's just us two out here in the middle of nowhere. It's supposed to be liberating, right? Being free of smog, of the smog of the urban lifestyle. I check my phone again. Still no response from Jacob. I should have anticipated this. He's a bit touchy about the money subject. Think about what he said. Crawling in the bushes. A thought, a very strange thought that surfaces without effort. I dismiss it. What happened yesterday night was a trick of the light, but it comes back. I try to suppress it. It's burrowing its way into my conscious mind. There's nothing I can do. It's like trying to stop a million maggots wiggling out of a bin with your bare hands. Should I entertain it? I can't ignore it. Maybe I should ask the question just in case. Ask it. Also, Jacob, the person you were talking to, what did they look like? Just in case. Echo, I'm off to book club. Alrighty, have fun. I consider walking over to the rightmost window to watch her leave. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's not good. That's not good. I puzzled over it, hiding alone, watching the woman as she neared the gate. He came, and I saw him crouching, night after night. And I'm still just standing here. The gate is open and close. Anna, that better be you. The weird part, though, is I could have sworn I heard the freaking gate close, and... You know what? That's a problem for tomorrow. That's someone else's problem. That's that's tomorrow's problem. That's that's what I say right about that, you know. All right. Well, I'm off to bed then. I check my phone, still no response. I don't need one. I know the answer. It was just a trick of the light. I go to bed without Anna. So Anna is either at the book club, 
very late, which is weird, okay? Or she's cheating on me, okay? I, hey, I said it so you didn't have to. This game is longer than I expected. This game is a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, you ready to go? I'm gonna stay, no, I'm gonna stay home today. Again, maybe you're coming down with something. I, I feel like someone or something is stalking us. What? I haven't been able to distinguish anything other than vague movements in the shadows. Haven't you seen them or heard the noises? No, I haven't seen or heard anything. I just have this bad feeling that he looks exactly like... You sound like you should get some rest. She just gives me the warmest smile I've ever seen. So I'm going with you. No, I'm going with you. It's nice out here. Okay, can I please go with you? I'm going to go with you. I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna check on the house. All right. Is she closed. The yeah, she closed the game. All right. Have fun. You, you, you have fun. I'm gonna keep an eye on you while you leave. Okay. Just cause I, I'm nervous. You know. She teleported. That's why I love her. She's, you know, she's been the best. She's been my rock for a long time. Okay. I'm gonna check on the house while it's daylight because it's less creepy out here. It looks like the thickest rolling fog came through but still can't get in the basement which again huge red flag I can't check any of these bushes. That's still blinking like crazy because we apparently don't need to do laundry. Um, so I don't know if my guy here, me, is, you know, I don't know if I'm going like schizophrenic or something, but like it, I just feel, I don't know, I just feel weird. Something just feels weird. Alright, well. Off to bed I go, I guess. I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night, aren't I? Can I not get in bed? Guess not. I thought that was what she said. She said, get some rest. I can't sit in my favorite easy chair. Maybe Anna's right. Maybe I just need a distraction. I'll just read a book. It was a Dante's Inferno or something. I told you. I told you I was going to wake up and it was going to be dark. I read like all day long. Sheesh. Alright, turn that flashlight on. Dang, but my guy. Okay, it's 7 It's 7 o'clock. And Anna... Ugh, it's back. There's this odor that comes and goes in the house. It's subtle, lingering smell of something dead that drives me insane. We go through a lot of air freshener for the life of me. I can never find the source. You'd think it'd be the attic, but it never is. I hope for my sanity that one day I find a hundred rotting rat corpses. It is in the basement. Stomachs bellowed with the fruits of putrefaction. Blood dried like tar, seeping into the wood. Skin rippling with maggots. Even that would be better than just a frickin' nothing. Maybe that's today. Maybe this time will be different. Access the attic from the back door. Alrighty, guess we're going in the attic. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Got my statue here. I'm just gonna pretend like I don't care, you know? See if I can take my screwdriver with me. Nope. That would be too easy. Close those doors. I said close both doors. Close, close the door. Thank you. Guess we're going in the attic. At night. Couldn't have done it in the day, you know, because that would make too much sense. I hope for my sake there's nothing up here.
Yep, that's great. Okay. Of course, nothing. Over and over and over again. Wait, what's that sound? This guy. The VCR set. I don't know why we keep it. Wait, why is it on? How long has it been on? Be kind. Okay. Stupid thing won't turn off. Play it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Power went off. What happened to the power? I should check the electrical service panel. This junk is still on. All right, of course. All right, okay, I guess we're gonna go check the electrical service panel, even though the TV is still on. Do you not understand? This guy is stupid, okay? We are playing as a moron right now, all right? I don't even care. Yeah, I'll go check the panel. Let me just go check the panel. It should be fine. I need a screwdriver to open the panel. Okay, let's go get the, see? I'm a, I am a genius. I am an actual genius. We're gonna go, we're gonna turn the power back on, and then this VHS thing is gonna get us. It's gonna be the ring girl, she's gonna get us, she's gonna hurt me. She's gonna make me really scared. She's gonna make me s I might even cry. I might even pee my pants. Did I have to pee for the past, like, 15 minutes? <sighs> what was that? Alright, you know what, never mind, it don't matter. It don't even matter. It don't even matter. I'm a stupid moron who won't even figure out what the password to my own basement trap door bunker fallout shelter is. I deserve to die. I absolutely deserve to die. Use it. Some of the circuit breakers have been tripped. I turned them back on and the house and the lights came back on. Cool. Go back up in the attic then. Let's go back up here. What a great idea. Not. Cool. It won't let me do anything. It won't let me play it. My plan was to actually play the uh, tape, but... Do I just leave this panel off now? Is that how that's going to work? Alrighty then. It's great. Cool. Guess I'm going back inside and I'm going to bed. Make sure that's still the same. It's like, what was it, 7 p.m.? Gotta be like 8 p.m. now. Where's, where's Anna? You know, where is she? Why is she not here yet? Can't read the book. Uh-oh. I realize Anna just gone. Okay, well, well, whatever. How was work? No response. I changed the subject. My house key isn't in the car, is it? What? I thought you said you found it. There's irritation lurking in her voice. When? Today. When you called me. Maggots. I didn't call you. What are you talking about? Yes, you did. Your useless little fingers won't stop them. Oh, goodness. Anna, listen to me. This is the guy I was talking about. I see him outside our house, and I see him in my dreams. He's impersonating me. I don't know why, but he's stealing my life and... Echo? Her voice is cold. She won't even look at me. Don't be ridiculous. I know my husband's voice. It came from your phone number. Wait, what? Where's my phone? That wasn't me. Don't listen to a single... You're telling me you don't remember what we talked about? No. She turns to me and I can see her eyes starting to well up. I know what you're trying to do, Echo. It's childish. What? In other circumstances, I might believe you. I want to believe you, but no impersonator could know the things you said to me, so please don't do this today, not after what you said. You can't just pretend it wasn't you. What you said hurt to think you'd changed. That wasn't me. How is that scientifically possible, Echo? I... I... I try to think of a reason, but my mind is in the hole. Do I get an explanation from the man of science? A voice changer on the phone? It wasn't some doppelganger. It was your voice. You hurt me. Come get me when you want to take our relationship seriously. 
I thought she was leaving. Um, so, have you, you, she said, I climb into bed without disturbing Anna, face the other way, and go to bed. They brought up the Mandela catalog, and they were even talking about the doppelgangers and stuff, so I don't know how the freak you don't understand. I might have to cut this into two parts. He's smiling now. I just need evidence. I need to see his face. I need to know if he looks like me. I need to get a photo of him. Where's my phone? Frick, why am I always losing everything? It feels like I'm losing my... What the? What was that? It was the maggots. Alright, well... Nothing, apparently. So, I'm losing my mind. Clearly. My laptop, I'm not going to read the book. i got to find my cell phone, right? Or do I just got to go outside and start? Oh, I'm supposed to go to the trash bin, I bet. Because he was talking about stopping the... Uh, The maggots with his hands from the trash bin. I don't know. This is very sim, like ve a lot of symbolism, and it's very like metaphoric. It's very poetic, which is interesting. I don't actually hear anything. I stare at the garbage bin. It reeks of that odor, but I know deep down that this bin isn't the source. I always take it out, and the stench always returns. I open the lid. I must be hallucinating. A pile of un... unidentifiable, sinewy, rotting biological matter, a million maggots in the spaces in between. Utilation from the feast underway. Tiny sparkles where the light hits the wet parts. Glad this game is in black and white. I can see it so clearly, and yet I can't distinguish a single recognizable organ, muscle, tendon, artery, vein, bone, anything. Unlike that, like that, name one thing in this photo that makes you feel like you're having a stroke. I close the lid. I couldn't tell you if it was real. It won't let me interact with it again, so... I'm just going to go back inside, maybe put a, a wet washcloth on my face, and lie down. Yeah, it's not going to let me go to bed, is it? Should I go and try and mess with a VHS player? I'm thinking that's what I do, because... The idea here is that something is impersonating me, right? Like mimicking me, all that good stuff. So I'm thinking what better way to find it than on that VHS table or the TV upstairs. Anyways. Oh, you think you can copy me? Stealing my voice, my wife? You think that... It's easy to steal my life? Try copying this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's... That's not gonna help you, dude. Night after night, he came and I saw him crouching, watching the woman as she neared the gate. Anna, there's two things I want to tell you. 
Sure, you'll have to make it quick. I need to get ready for foot club. Okay, number one. Every time we talk, I'm going to repeat the last sentence of our previous conversation. Echo. If I don't, that... That's not me. Number two. And this one will definitely prove whether... Enough! Enough! You're acting like a crazy person. If I'm losing you again, I should never have brought up that analog horror... I didn't think it would genuinely scare you. Also, my window's open, and I'm gonna close it, because my, my window shouldn't be wide open. It's, I've been recording for, like, almost two hours, you guys. I be putting in work, okay? I got stuff to do, but that's okay. You're acting like a crazy person, I feel. Okay, yeah, basically I shouldn't have showed you the analog horror. Why aren't you taking me seriously? Because this is what you do, Echo. You obsess over things all the time. You get trapped in certain in a certain mindset, and sometimes it feels like no one on earth can change that except me. It's like I'm the only one the only one left holding your hand trying to pull you out of this sinkhole of complete insanity. And if I let go, if I let go, you'll Don't you remember how bad you got last year with your work? You wouldn't even drive in. You would spend all day, every day, in that stupid shed. Do you have any idea how many nights I sat in this room eating dinner alone? Having been by myself all day, wondering when I would get to see another human being? I mean, you can't even remember what you were working on. I can't muster a response. Last year was is a complete blur. There is no doppelganger, and even if there was, there's no way they'd look exactly like you. What's that on your hand? Is that a bandage? I, I think it's better if I don't tell you. Frick, Echo. I press into the palm of my hand. It stings with stupidity. Sometimes I wish we could go back to when we met. Sometimes I just wanna... I just want my husband back. This is actually pretty sad that this dude is just losing his mind. Yeah, so he used to spend all day in the shed. Like what um, she was just saying. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I puzzled over it, hiding alone. Though I knew I should act at once. For reasons that I failed to understand, I dared not put him to flight forever. I stay perfectly still in the darkness, like a small animal that's just stepped on a twig in the night. It's only a matter of time before teeth sink into my back. Any movement or sound would reveal myself. So I'm, I'm not supposed to move, is that the idea here? I'm moving. I don't care what this guy says. So I should go check that out, right? You getting in bed without me? No, I'm not getting in bed. I gotta go check that out. That is simply unacceptable. Talk to this guy. Okay, what are we doing here? It won't even let me go in there. Okay, well. You can't say I didn't try. Alright? That was pretty... That was pretty cool of me to try, but you know what? My marriage is going to be over, and so is my life by the end of this. doesn't make any sense. Why is he doing this and where does he keep disappearing to? I can think of three possible places but none work. It can't be the attic. I'd hear him walking around above me all day. It can't be the basement. Yes, I forgot the password but I never wrote it down. I'm the only person on earth who ever knew that code. Lastly, it can't be the shed. I lost the key months ago. I lost the key months ago. 
So it's the shed, because you're a stupid idiot. It's also probably still the basement. I want to see if that would change. This should have been its own video. This should have been its own freaking video. Alright, well, I'm going to go check out the shed again. Because that's... Oh, there's something on the table here. What's this? There's a note from Anna. You got a parcel today. Didn't say who it's from. Also, call appliance repair and electrician today. A key? Yeah, so we're probably not going to call the, the people, right? That's just not happening. This game is long as freak, but I'm enjoying it, guys. I'm We're in for the long haul here. I will probably have to take a break and pee here soon. Uh, because if I don't, I'm going to die. But, yeah, this is going to be horrible. I try the key, and to my surprise, it unlocks. My heart races when I hear quiet footsteps within. He's here. I've cornered the... I'm so freaking close. I have my flashlight off and stay low. I have to hide among the shadows. He's not even in here, my guy. Okay, this is instructions on how to play a tape. A closer look, he seemed to turn, might have, revealed in the raged or ragged moon, a momentary glimpse of gleaming eyes, a shape amid the shadows, blackness that moved. So this is when he was crawling around in the bushes and his friend drove by. What? Where is he going? I look toward the gate and... Okay, well I couldn't even see where he was going, so... Peering fut fur furtively from behind a bush, I saw him for the first time. Entering the lonely house with my wife. Dang, bro, that was crazy. Indistinguishable. That was good. That was, oh my gosh. Dude, I've been recording for one hour and 40 minutes. That's crazy. Oh. This is really good. Doppelganger. Entering the lonely house with my wife, I saw him for the first time, peering furtively behind a bush. I still think I'm saying this wrong. Blackness that moved. A shape amid the shadows. A momentary glimpse of gleaming eyes revealed in the ragged moon. A closer look. He seemed to turn. Might have. Put him to flight forever. I dared not. For reasons that I failed to understand, though I knew I should act at once. I puzzled over it, hiding alone, watching the woman as she neared the gate. He came. I saw him crouching night after night, night after night. He came, and I saw him crouching, watching the woman as she neared the gate. I puzzled over it, hiding alone, though I knew I should not act at once for reasons that I failed to understand. I dared not put him to flight forever. A closer look, he seemed to turn, might have revealed in the ragged moon a momentary glimpse of gleaming eyes a shape amid the shadows blackness that moved peering furtively behind a bush i saw him for the first time entering the lonely house with my wife dang that was crazy and this is the uh 
This document is password protected. Is there a password in there? Okay, well, if anyone knows about the epilogue stuff, I would like to know about that, but I can't even wrap my head around what I just played. Um, give me a minute, I'm gonna go pee, and then I'll be back. Anyways, so I just wanted to talk about what we just experienced together. I thought that game was really interesting. It was, again, pretty simple, okay? The idea was pretty pretty baseline. The fact that they referenced the Mandela catalog, like that was just so cool for me. Like the little little fangirl in me. This the Mandela catalog stan in me, if you will. Just oh, I love that. I got my little my little Mark plush here. Maybe he can sit on my microphone. Like so. Alright. Yeah, he can just chill right there. Anyways, I think that that was phenomenal, okay? That was absolutely phenomenal. The, the actual, like, visuals were very stunning. The everything about it was really, really well put together. I, I didn't know what to expect uh, just because, again, I, I go in blind and I try and find something that hasn't been played already a million times by every person you know on the face of the earth i try and find something a little unique and i stumbled upon this game this is amazing okay indistinguishable was amazing it, it takes this idea this very simple idea of like oh there could be someone just like you that looks just like you that sounds just like you and then just goes and just goes hard with it it's also based off of that poem that they show at the very end which is really really cool so i can't believe just how good that was that was insane incredible would recommend like absolutely like if you i can't even get over how good that was um i'm trying to compile my thoughts here but Anyways, I think that game was an absolute 10 out of 10. Banger. The only things I would change are they don't make it super clear how to sort of progress in the game. There are times where I'm, like, lost, not sure what to do. That's partially on me, um, but if they had even, like, some sort of indicator... Um, I kept using that sound feature, and I don't know if I was using it incorrectly or if I wasn't using it at the right times... But I feel like that could easily give you some sort of, like, place so you would know where to go and what to do next. That would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know exactly if I was just using that wrong. The other thing, too, is the actual, like, mechanics were very well put together. They worked very well. Stuff like that. But I feel that there was uh, there was sort of a lacking uh, element there with sort of how you interact with everything seemed a little weird like i sometimes could interact with anna and then sometimes i couldn't stuff like that i also was just thinking about it at the very end i guarantee you can go back up in the attic and watch the vhs tape because it gives you those instructions i think you could probably turn around and leave before you go in the shed. So if you want to see that, maybe I'll put that in a, a future video or something. Um, I might go back and revisit this game. So anyways, I thought it was great. I thought the other two games were really cool too. The middle one was super short, but still a great, great game. But thank you so much for watching this three scary games like marathon. You know, that was crazy. That was an, an absolute banger. So thank you for stopping by and thank you for being so cool hope you enjoyed and make sure to follow the uh the safety instructions at the beginning of the video but yeah thanks for sticking around have a good night